What's up guys, today I just got a quick video showing you how to add a chamfered edge to your wooden flags. Uh, I'd gotten a recommendation to do this video, so uh, thank you for the recommendation, and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first up, I got all my wood prepped already. Uh, in case you're not sure how to get to this point, I have uh, six pieces of 1x2 cut at 37 inches. I have seven pieces cut at 22 and a quarter, and then I have a piece of 1x12, and this is cut to uh, 10 and a half inches by 14 and 3 quarter inches. So now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, hit them with the router. All right, so first up, I'm gonna go ahead and just get my router set up. Uh, I just got one of these Makita uh, more portable routers and I'm gonna be using one of these 45 degree router bits and these are made by KO Wood. I go ahead and link them in the description. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bit put on and I'm just gonna leave this sticking out like an inch. All right. Got that put on there. All right, now for mine, uh, this is kind of up to you depending on how much of a uh, chamfered edge you want. But mine, from the bottom, uh, it's sticking out just short of 5 eighths of an inch. Hopefully you can see that good enough, but it's just below the 5 eighths inch mark to the end of this piece right here. So just to give you a little bit of an idea and it won't matter too much if it's uh, slightly off because they'll still all be consistent within your flag as long as you don't adjust it while you're doing it but now I'll go ahead and show you how they look on the stripe and I got mine set on uh, full speed and then I'm just gonna run it along the edge so that this piece right here is running along the edge of the board All right, so that is how it looks. Uh, I think it gives it a really cool look to it. Kind of makes it look just a little bit more fancy. And like I said, if you would like to do more or less, you can always um, you can always adjust your router to do more or less if you would prefer something else. But I'm gonna go ahead, uh, get the rest of everything else routered out, and then I'll go ahead and finish up the rest of the flag so we can see how it looks uh, once it's all done. Alright, so that's what it looks like all finished up. Uh, I think it gives it a really cool look to it. Uh, just makes it look a little bit more uh, uniform in a way. Just because without it usually uh, there's like, if there's any inconsistencies on the boards and it's like flat, then you kind of notice them more. But this way it looks a lot more uniform. And then also this seam right here, it makes this look really nice just so they're not butted together. Uh, then there's a nice little transition there. Uh, for this flag, I used the uh, Spirit Stain, in case you're wondering. It comes like this, I have it on Amazon. And then the blue, I still have the normal blue of the Spirit Stain. They do have a royal blue that I haven't got yet. Uh, but this blue is a little bit more of a lighter blue. But it's a super easy thing to do. Uh, it's fairly quick, and it definitely makes it look better. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear any other video recommendations. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching, and please have a great day. Yeah.